Hello, and welcome to Inside Admissions. My name is Ramya. And I'm Bailey. And we are Admissions Ambassadors here at Purdue. From one boiler maker to another, you did it. Congratulations on your admission to Purdue. Now that you're admitted, I'm sure you're wondering, now what? In this video, we are going to walk you through everything you need to do and be aware of so you can hit the ground running. First things first, in your admission offer letter, you're going to find your Purdue University ID number and a career account setup password. You need these two pieces of information and your birth date to activate your online career account through the account activation website. During the account activation process, you'll also set up your purdue.edu email. We recommend not forwarding your Purdue email to your personal email. Emails from important Purdue offices can get caught in your personal email spam filters. Once you've set up your career account, you'll use your login information to access your My Purdue portal online at mypurdue.purdue.edu. We know you're familiar with your other application portal, where you checked your application status and found your admission letter. But now you'll have also this second portal, where you will conduct most of your business with the university from now on. This includes viewing financial aid information, future course schedules, and the new student task list that you will use to check off all your next steps once you're ready to commit to Purdue. So, bookmark it, explore it, and get familiar with it. If you have trouble with your career account setup, send us an email at admissions at purdue.edu. Visiting is a great way to determine if Purdue is the right fit for you. So now is a great time to experience Purdue University. This could be in the form of an in-person campus tour, event, or through any of our virtual experiences. Take the campus tour from the comfort of your couch. Speak to our students and hear their take on life at Purdue. Or get an up-close look at Purdue's facilities, faculty, and classes. A variety of visit opportunities await you, so visit admissions.purdue.edu slash visit to explore all of the options. You should use this time to learn about your options for housing. Students interested in on-campus housing and university residences should visit the housing website for more information about availability and contracting. The on-campus housing contract is available via My Purdue to students who have accepted their admission offer. To increase your chances of receiving your preferred on-campus housing, you are encouraged to submit your contract by April 15th. There is a short delay of approximately two days between the time you accept your offer and when you can access the housing contract in your My Purdue portal. The contract for university residences will remain open until May 5th. If you sign a contract after April 15th, it is more likely you will be placed in non-traditional housing. If you want to be part of a learning community, now is the time to research your options. Learning communities are communities of students with similar academic interests, recreational interests, or revolve around a central theme. These communities connect students of different academic backgrounds with others who share the same interests. Each learning community has its own requirements, so check them out. The priority deadline to apply is April 15th, so don't miss it. If you are interested in applying to a learning community, you still have to fill out a housing contract. We know that college is an investment, so navigating how you will pay for Purdue is an important step. If you haven't already, you'll want to submit the free application for federal student aid, or the FAFSA for short. When you submit the FAFSA by April 15th, you will get priority consideration for federal, state, and university financial aid. Once you have submitted, be sure to promptly respond to any requests from the Division of Financial Aid for more information. Generally, international undergraduate students are not eligible for financial aid and scholarships. Financial aid award notices will begin sending in early March. For a more detailed timeline, tips, and things to think about, be sure to check out our video on paying for Purdue. When you're ready, you'll want to accept your offer of admission through your My Purdue portal. You can do so at any point before May 1st, which is Purdue's deadline to accept your offer of admission. A non-refundable deposit is required at the time you accept. If you were also offered admission to the Honors College, you must accept your Honors College offer by May 5th. An important note to our international students, you can begin the process to receive your visa eligibility documents after you've accepted your offer of admission. After you accept your offer of admission, you'll start to receive information about our orientation programs. In early summer, you'll complete your initial orientation 
academic advising, and registration. Later in the summer, you'll register for Boiler Gold Rush, also known as BGR. It's Purdue University's welcome to new students the week before fall classes begin. Participants familiarize themselves with campus, experience university traditions, and connect with other staff, faculty, and Purdue students, all to establish community at Purdue. An additional experience is also available to international students. Boiler Gold Rush International, or BGRI, is a program that supports the transition, adjustment, and acculturation of international students and other students who have significant experience living abroad. This program helps connect students to important resources that support the transition of international students to the United States of America. You'll get more information on this through your Purdue email, but once registration is live, you'll see it populate on your new student task list in the My Purdue portal. Students who have established credit for a Purdue math class via AP, IB, transfer, or dual credit are typically placed into an appropriate math class in their first semester based on that credit. Students who have not established credit are placed into a Purdue math class based on SAT math, ACT math, or Alex Mathematics placement assessment scores. Prior to your initial orientation, review the Alex page on the Department of Mathematics website to see if you'll need to take the Alex assessment, which is easily accessible through your My Purdue portal. You'll want to watch for fee statements in July. These will be sent to your Purdue email and are accessible through your My Purdue portal as well. No PPR fee statements will be mailed, so get into a habit of checking your Purdue email and My Purdue portal routinely. To the parents of our newly admitted students, thank you. We could not have gotten to where we are without our parents' help. You've done so much to support your student in taking their next giant leap. Whether this is your first student going off to college or your last, we know this transitional time can be challenging. That's why we recommend joining the Parent Facebook group. It's a super helpful community of Purdue staff and local families. You can get any and all of your questions answered here, as well as find a support network to help you get through the exciting and sometimes scary times ahead. And that's that. We know it can sound like a lot, but you have plenty of time to take care of these items. Your My Purdue portal will be instrumental in guiding you through the process. And if you encounter any questions, we're just a call or email away. We know you'll hear it a lot, but again, congratulations on your offer of admission to Purdue University. Boiler up. And hammer down. And, and thanks, thanks for, for watching. watching.